We're back with David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter. Today we're talking about the governor's race. So good afternoon. Thanks for being here, of course. Happy to be here. What makes this race so different? The different thing about this race is that we have a governor who basically did everything that he promised to do, but nobody likes what he did. So the problem is, is that there's a lot of people who are gunning for him and do not want him reelected. And so what you have here is a little bit of a different take on things where his own party uh, are not really uh, behind him in terms of what he has done. Now, who are the Democrats trying to oppose him? There are four Democrats. Uh, there's uh, Allison Schwartz uh, from uh, Montgomery County. There is Rob McCord from Montgomery County, Katie McGinty from the Philadelphia area, and Tom Wolf, who is a Democratic candidate from uh, Central Pennsylvania. The interesting thing is that there is no candidate from Western Pennsylvania. The candidates that we do have, how are they doing? They're doing okay. Okay, I think what's happening is Governor Corbett has come after the Democratic candidates this morning with radio advertising uh, going against them. And uh, Corbett and Schwartz are attacking Wolf, and McGinty is trying to stay above the fray. So they're all after each other at this point because there's only a couple of weeks left before the election. There's some terms that are being thrown around that I want to get to. The first one is the Pennsylvania cycle. The Pennsylvania cycle is simply since 1946. The parties have actually switched every eight years. So in other words, like for eight years, there's been a Democratic administration. For eight years, there's been a Republican administration. The Democrats this year are hoping to break that eight-year cycle because mm -hmm. Governor Corbett got elected in 2010, 2014. They're looking to break that. Okay, what about the T section the of T Pennsylvania? The T section of Pennsylvania, I'm glad you brought that up, is the northern area of the state of Pennsylvania and then the uh, middle of the state going down from State College to York and Harrisburg. That's called the T-section. That's heavily Republican and that generally is the section of the state where at the end of an election cycle it's extremely important because you have a lot of votes there and you also have a large Republican population. There. Okay, so the Democrats, they started with eight candidates, now we're down to four. They're down to four at this point, right. Okay. And the four are, of course, uh, McGinty, uh, Schwartz, um, Wolf, and McCord. So who will prevail? We don't know, but it looks like at this point, uh, in my opinion, and believe me, uh, I could buy you a cup of coffee with that along with that opinion, um, I think that McGinty and Schwartz are going to split the uh, Philadelphia vote and the women's vote, and it's going to come down to McCord and Wolf, but I think Wolf is going to win very slightly. All right, your wealth of knowledge, David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter. You can find him online at Lulac Political Letter Blogspot.com. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it.